resilient youth. What is poppin', everybody? Thank you for come, coming in, tuning in. We are bringing Resilient Youth online straight to you guys at home. It's going to be epic. Going to be playing some games. I'm going to leave the rest up to you guys for what we're going to do. Stay in the chat. Let's do this. Woo! Yo, what is going on, Resilient Youth? Thank you all for tuning in tonight. It's going to be an amazing night. Before we get into the night, I want you guys to share the link, share the YouTube link, share the Facebook link to your friends because we've got an amazing word coming to you tonight. We want everyone possible to hear it. So make sure you share that link. We've got a lot of amazing things happening. We've got some games to start us off. We, we've got all the leaders in the chat. So make sure you're chatting below because it's going to be epic. Let's go. Okay. First of all, we're going to start it off with a good old live TikTok. That's right. You know, TikTok's been popping off in this isolation time. So what we're going to do is we're going to rank some SpongeBob walking noises. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. All right, guys. So that was my TikTok. Now I want you guys to send in your TikToks to Resilient Youth. We're going to feature them on the story so you can get some more clout. Now we're going to play another game, a little bit of trivia to mix it up. We're going to be in the comments below judging all the comments and giving you points so we can give out a prize. Actually, what's the prize going to be? I'm going to, I'm going to ring someone up. Maybe, maybe we can get their opinion on what the prize should be. Here we go. See if they actually pick up. Oh, hey, Ron, how you going? Danza, what's up, buddy? What's up, what's up? We're just doing um, a quick trivia game, but we need some prizes. Do you have any suggestions? Prizes, prizes. Ah, this is for youth, is it? This is for youth. Unplugged, yep. Okay. Right. Mate, I, I heard just the other day that Daniel's Donuts oh. has opened up in Cranbourne. So uh, we, are, we are highly favoured by Jesus. We are smack bang in the middle of Krispy Kremes and Daniel's Donuts. Yeah. So, mate, let's, let's give away a dozen donuts from one of those places. Um, and just because it's a Friday night, let's throw in the winner gets to nominate two youth leaders from Resilient Youth to do a TikTok as well. For okay, our okay. Page. I like it, I like it. Thank you very much for that prize suggestion. Done. We're going to do it. Let's do it. All right. Done. Thanks, Ron. Done. I'll catch Can't you later. Wait. Thanks, buddy. Talk soon. There, there it is. Dozen donuts from Daniel's Donuts, and you get to nominate two leaders to do a TikTok. We're going to post that on the Resilient Youth, and maybe we'll even make a Resilient Youth TikTok page. So... Without further ado, let's get into the, the trivia. All right. All right. We're starting off with the first question, everybody. Get your typing uh, fingers ready. This is open book, so you can search it up. It's just the first person to comment in the chat. The answer gets a point. And the most pe person with the most points at the end wins. All right. Starting it off with this first trivia question. In Swedish... A skvada is a rabbit with what unusual feature? We've got 30 seconds on the clock to answer it. If you don't get in 30 seconds, no points for anyone. All right, guys, that's the first question done and dusted. Hopefully one of you guys got that correct. We're in the comments again, like I said before. This is the next question for another point. How many books are in the New Testament of the Bible? Go, 30 seconds to get this question.
All right, guys, next question. Here we go. What letter symbolizes black in the printing industry? And this is the fourth question for another point. What country won the very first FIFA World Cup in 1930? Boom. Go. Fifth question, second last question is, what year was the very first model of the iPhone released? Go. Final question of this trivia game, sixth question, what is the name of the man who launched eBay back in 1995? All right, that's all the trivia questions we got. We're going to be announcing winners later tonight in the Zoom calls. So leaders are going to be announcing that in separate vibe. So make sure you stay tuned for the winners. We'll also be announcing it on Instagram so you can see it on the story and it's going to be epic. All right, now we're going to hand it over to Ron who's going to bring an amazing message for you guys. Well, how are you doing, Resilient Youth? Who would have thought we'd be doing Unplugged Online? It's a crazy thought, but here we are. And I've got to tell you, I am excited. I want to share with you, uh, as you heard from Ethan, just a brief message. Afterwards, just hang with us. We're going to do a little bit of worship, and then we're going to get you to check in with your vibe leaders as well. So you guys are in for a crazy night. And these, these are crazy times. So I want to talk about how life is so busy but now with this isolation, we've actually been caused to really slow right down. But with all the people that I'm talking to, here's the crazy thing. As life has caused us to slow down, I'm talking to so many people that are trying to make life just as busy as possible. And what I want to talk to you tonight about is, I, I, I call this M&Ms, just the miracle moments. And what I'm realizing is so often in life, God gives us this amazing moment and then because of who we are, because of our makeup, and because we like the busyness of life, we can miss those moments because we fill those moments with things that we want to do, not with what God wants to do. Here's a cracking example. You know, I know someone really, really well, someone in my family that will rename or will remain nameless. And if I see a sunset, I will text her straight away. And I will be like, hey, you've got to check out this sunset. It's amazing. And uh, this person will run outside and take 10 different photos of a sunset. Let me ask you this. When was the last time you looked at a sunset without taking a picture to upload to social media just to enjoy? 
And we do the same thing with life. The beautiful moments of life come along and we fill them up with the busyness of what it is that we want to do. So tonight, Resilient Youth, I want to encourage you that through isolation, look for the miracle moments that God has put in front of us and just don't fill them. Just be with God. Let God blow your mind. And it's going to be crazy. Let's pray before we jump into the Word. Father, I believe that this is just a simple message, but it's direct from heaven. And so for anyone and everyone watching this online, God, would you just bless them? Would you allow the presence of God just to be with them in their room, in their lounge room, in their house, in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, let me read. Uh, I'm reading to you from Mark chapter 9, verse 2. And it says this, Now after six days, Jesus took Peter, James and John. So it's Jesus and his closest crew, just the three boys. And he led them up on a mountain by themselves. And he was transfigured before them. In other words, the Bible says in verse 3, His clothes became shining. How much were they shining? Well, the Bible says, Exceedingly white, like snow, such as no launderer on earth can white them. In other words, no matter how good your mum is, she can't get them this white. And then it says this in verse 4. And Elijah appeared to them with Moses, and they were talking with Jesus. In verse 5. Then Peter answered and said, Jesus, Rabbi, it is good for us to be here. Let us make three tabernacles, one for you, one for Moses, one for Elijah. Because he did not know what to say, for they were greatly afraid. And a cloud came and overshadowed them, and a voice came out of the cloud saying, This is my beloved son, hear him. Suddenly, when they had looked around, they saw no one anymore, but only Jesus with themselves. Really simple tonight, resilient youth. I want to bring out two points in this. Just two really simple points. So you've got Jesus. Jesus takes his closest BFFs up the mountain and they see Elijah, Moses, two of the greatest Jewish leaders in the history of the Jewish culture, hanging out with the number one MVP, Jesus Christ himself. And Peter, the guy that always puts his foot in it. Peter says, uh, I'm, I'm afraid, I don't know what to do, I don't know what to say. Let's build three tabernacles. In other words... There is an M&M right in front of Peter. There's a miracle moment. They're seeing two guys that have already gone to heaven in Elijah and Moses. And Peter starts to freak out a little bit. And he says, let's build three tabernacles. Isn't it crazy that in the midst of this miracle moment, Peter, through his own insecurities, wants to get busy. So you see, building three tabernacles, he was saying, let's build three tents. And Jesus knows that if he says, yes, Peter, that's a great idea. Go and build three tents. By the time Peter finished building the tents, that moment would have been gone. And in life, especially with this thing called social media, we can miss the miracle moments, just like the sunset that I told you about. By the time we've taken 10 shots, ran down the street to get a better angle of it, it's gone. Here's a crazy thought, though. When it comes to things like the sunset, or what about even brunch and dinner? When was the last time you had an amazing dinner? Someone took you out for dinner, put it on the table, you looked at the person you were hanging out with, and you did something so crazy, you ate the food. That doesn't happen today. I gotta, I, even I do this. If I'm hanging out with my wife, I take my wife out to our favorite restaurant. They put the meal in front of me. I'm like, oh, that looks amazing. And even I take out my phone. But you know, we're actually created not to do that. We're actually created to get a much greater high just by enjoying the company of the person that we sit in, that we're sitting with. And it's like when we hang out with Jesus. So at the moment, with isolation, our pace has totally slowed down down and now more than ever we have the greatest opportunity resilient youth to just connect with God life has done its best to get out of the way but here's here's what we do so maybe maybe you're like me maybe you go hey I'm gonna pray and all of a sudden while you're praying you might pray for someone and go hey I wonder what they're doing on Instagram and you have a look at Instagram in the midst of just chatting to God and it's like you you miss that oh I'll just drop them. And what about, what about life itself? Life itself gets in the way of life. Like I said, we see a beautiful sunset, but then we want to capture it. 
because sometimes life just in, gets in the way of doing life. And what about this one? Hey, just a quick shout out. If you want to look at my TikTok account jokes, I don't really have a TikTok account. That would be silly and a little bit weird. But you can just be hanging out with your friends and all of a sudden you're singing, holy moly donut shop. You know, things like TikTok gets in the way of just doing life and those miracle moments. Come on out. How good is this? Especially with all the filters, especially for that sunrise. Because clearly God and nature don't do a great enough job. So we got to hit up that sunrise with the perfect filter. And come on, how could I keep on going without this big daddy? Facebook. How often are we thinking, man, I need to spend time with God. But then FOMO kicks in and we hit the Instagram or we hit Facebook and we go, just a minute, God, I'll come right back to you. And in the midst of that, we can miss our miracle moments. We are actually created with our five senses. I just want to talk briefly about the sunset. We're created with five amazing senses to watch the sunset. And our brain records that in something far greater that is 4K, 5K, HD. And we can even, as we watch the sunset, we can feel the sun on our skin. And as the sun covers the dew or the grass in the morning, we can smell that. Everything that's going on is created to make us feel more alive than ever in the moment. And we lose all of that. We lose that miracle moment when we just get busy in the moment. And so coming back to that scripture, Peter says, Peter says, hey, Jesus, I got, I got this crazy idea. You notice no one answers Peter. And quite often I can find myself in a meeting and the boss will say, hey, we're going to do this. And I'm like, yeah, that's so good. And we can do this and we can do this and we can do this. And no one answers me. And I've learned to understand that when no one answers me, it's generally because what I'm coming up with, it's not really a great idea. No one wants to tell me. But here, Peter, James and John, they're with the MVP and they're with two of the greatest leaders. And then Peter, out of his insecurity, says, hey, let's build some tents. Let's get busy. Let's miss the miracle. No one responds. No one says, Peter, that's a terrible idea. But a cloud rolls in. And it's like God has gone, hey, I've got to shut this guy up. I'm just going to come in over the top of him. And he says, hey, this is my son. And I love that God does that because Peter, because of his ability and his need to want to get busy and because of his, his, his ability to go, I don't know what to say. So I'm just going to stand here and enjoy the moment. It's like God is saying, Peter, James and John, I don't want you to miss this. So I'm going to roll in in a cloud and I'm just going to speak. And he comes in with this like uh, Mufasa-like voice, I imagine. And he just says, this is my son. And all of their attention is brought into the moment. I just want to encourage you guys out there that, that as isolation causes us to slow down, I believe that for our young people and for our old people, what isolation is presenting us with is a window for a miracle, is a window to connect with God. And you've probably heard by now that the government's talking about us coming out of isolation and different levels and everything else and going back to schools. And my greatest fear about isolation finishing is that so many of us that call ourselves Christians are missing the window for our miracle. I don't know how much longer we've got in isolation, but I really want to encourage you, young person, that in this moment, just say, God, would you come and speak to me? Whilst you're not living a lifestyle where you're driving to school and coming home from school, having a quick snack, then doing sports, then trying to hit all your friends up on social media, then doing homework and everything else, and you go off to your job. While the pace of life is a little bit slower, let me just encourage you. Just look for the M&Ms in your life. Look for the miracle moments. You see, like I said, Jesus knew that if Peter got busy to build three tents, by the time he finished building three tents, he would have missed the miracle that he was experiencing and watching. To see Elijah and Moses and Jesus all together would have been phenomenal, would have been amazing. And for Peter to get busy in the moment, he would have missed all of that. But I love even more what it says at the end of that in verse 8. It says this. So this is after God has said, this is my beloved son. Hear him. It says this in verse 8. Suddenly, when they had looked around, they saw no one anymore. So I imagine that as they look up, all of a sudden, the two great leaders of the Jewish culture and Elijah and Moses, boom, they're gone. 
And this is what the Bible says. But only Jesus was left with themselves. They saw in some, in some Bible translation, it says, when they looked up, they saw only Jesus. Young person, my heart for you th through isolation is that whatever you're going through, whether it's the highs and the lows of life, whether it's trying to get busy and, and keep that pace of busyness. My greatest prayer is that one through this period that you would capture the miracle moments. Put down the phone, go out and enjoy a sunset, go out and enjoy a sunrise. Not to capture it on a camera for social media, but just because you can. That's a crazy thought. Take a friend out and don't take photos of your food. Don't take photos of brunch. Don't take photos of the overpriced avocado and the random pomegranate seeds that they want to charge an extra $10 for. Just eat them and be in the moment with your good friend. Honour your good friend by staying off your device. And when you spend time with God, honour God. Look for the miracle moments. So my greatest prayer is that you would just be present in your miracle moment. And the second thing, it's like, the Bible says, and when they looked up, they saw only Jesus. My greatest prayer is that you would create time and that life would allow you to have space where you would look up and see only Jesus. And I promise you this, no matter what you're going through right now, no matter how you're feeling about isolation, no matter how you're feeling about life itself, I've spoken to people that, that, that are feeling, you know, they're throwing words at me like uh, they're feeling a little depressed, they're feeling a little down. I totally understand all of that. But let me encourage you as much as I can through the eye of a lens to push through and just connect with God. You know, in a little while, we're going to have uh, some worship. And then after that, just connect with your vibe leaders. Just talk to your vibe leaders about how you can be present and get your miracle moment and not miss it. And not be like Peter and want to build and build and build and miss the moment. And then talk to your leaders about how you can get to a point where you look up. And in the midst of life, no matter what pace life is doing, you can look up and see only Jesus. When Jesus looks up and he sees us, all he wants to do is just chill with us. So let me encourage you, however much longer we're in isolation, don't miss your window for a miracle. God, I believe, is reaching out to every one of us, no matter what our age is. No matter where you are right now with Jesus, you have an opportunity just to close your eyes with the slow pace of life and just say, Jesus, would you come and speak to me? So I'm going to pray for you. And then we're going to go in a time of worship. Please don't run away just yet. Check in with your vibe leaders and uh, you know, have a challenge. Challenge your vibe leaders because I guarantee you some of them will be paying for overpriced smashed avocado just to take photos for social media. Challenge your leaders. And I pray they would challenge you just to be in the moment where you can get your miracle. And in the moments with God, you could look up and see only Jesus. Let me pray for you. Father, we just give you thanks and praise right now. Father, for every young person watching this, or for every older person as well watching this, God, I love that you've created us uh, to want to connect with you. And Father, no matter what pace of life we're traveling at, God, I pray that we would make time just to connect with you. And as we come into connecting with you, that our mind wouldn't want to record it. Our mind wouldn't want to go, hey, as soon as God speaks to me, I'm going to put this on, I'm going to put this on Instagram. I'm going to put a great backing on it and everyone's going to like my photo because it's got a scripture. And No, no, God, we would just connect with you because of relationship, because that's how we were created, just to walk with you not to capture it, but just to be in the moment. So Father, I pray for every young person that we would be in the moment of our miracle. And God, no matter what we're walking through, that we would have the ability where we could just look up and see only Jesus. Father, if there's any young person that's really struggling through this time, I just pray for them specifically that they would look up and see only Jesus. Father, they would know that in you there's hope and in you that they would know that that there is love and all the things that they're looking for. Father, thank you for this time. Bless them as, as only you can. You're amazing. God, we love just learning and hearing you, learning about you. Father, bless them in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You guys are amazing. We're going to go into some worship. Hang in there. Don't check out and then touch base with your vibe leaders. Thank you so much for listening. We'll see you guys soon.
Hey everybody, we're going to go into a time of worship. So if you want to stand up and have a little sing with us um, and worship Jesus with us, you do that. Or if you want to sit down or wherever you are on your bed or your couch and have a little chill worship, you can do that. So do whatever you need to do um, to worship. Um, we're going to sing Jesus is your name and yeah, just let the words sink over you and yeah, sing from your heart.
Hey guys, how good was that? Hey, if you got something out of what Rowan just said now and you really want to uh, make a next step and invite Jesus into your heart, I'm just going to open the opportunity now just to pray a simple prayer after me um, to invite Jesus into your life right now. So just pray after, after me. Lord, I thank you for your love and I thank you for your mercy, God. I pray that you forgive me for my sins. And Jesus, I open up my heart to you now to live inside me and guide me wherever I go. I choose to follow you. In Jesus' name, amen. There we go, guys. That's all we've got for this unplugged session. Uh, for all of you guys that made that decision, thank you. And God is very proud of you. I want to make sure that you guys reach out to one of us leaders and say, hey, this is what I've done today. Um, and we'll help you through this journey with you. Um, so yeah, now we're going to head up into head off into our vibe sessions. Um, so yeah, contact your leaders now, and I'll catch you on the flip flop. Boom.